Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today I'm going to be using these blue and green glow-in-the-dark dice that were sent in by a viewer. Thank you. Let's kick it off with our roll for bread. Or make that roll for lettuce. Everyone say hi to Morgan. She'll be the one in the comments very mad that we're calling this a sandwich and not using bread today. Next up, let's roll for our main. Two, pickled herring. This pickled herring and sour cream sauce is how I was introduced to pickled herring by my grandmother when I was a kid. Back then I liked it okay, but it hasn't really stood the test of time for me. So yeah, let's go ahead and roll for cheese. Four, Havarti. All right, well, at least we got a pretty solid cheese. Last time we got a lettuce wrap, literally everything was mush. All right, let's roll for our roughage. Three pickled okra and 10 pickles. <laughs> wow, that's pretty funny. So now we have pickled herring, pickled okra, and pickles. I mean, flavor-wise, we're still kind of all in the same lane here. The sour cream with the pickled herring kind of ends up tasting like tartar sauce anyway, and often tartar sauce has pickles in it. These particular pickles that I have today were homemade by a friend of ours, so that's cool. Just a lot of pickles going on. Next up, let's roll Wild Magic. 10, pickled ginger. Okay, I mean, yeah, I do have a lot of pickled things on the list. It's one of the ways that I'm able to keep stocked up for this series, but I usually don't get them all at once. Last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. If we get something pickled, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. 19, mustard dill sauce. How, <laughs> what? The dice really had pickles on the brain today, I guess. Now we have the task of trying to put this thing together. Let's uh, get our toothpicks in here to, yeah, this is, this is probably not going to work very well, huh? All right, well, we're just going to do the best we can here and use a little bit of psychic blades here, get it cut in half, and let's take a look at that cross section. All right. Well, our second lettuce wrap on the show, and I'm not sure if this one ended up more stable or less stable than the last one. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, not sure about this one. The fish really shines through. I'm a big fan of pickles, love pickled things. It's not doing enough to cover the herring in my opinion. The lettuce adds no flavor at all, so I don't even have the taste of bread to help me out. I'm gonna give this one a four, and I'm gonna call it pickles all the way down. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you again on Wednesday.